The ministerial midterm retreat in Abuja has come to an end with President Buhari reassuring that his administration will build a more resilient economy. To achieve this, the president directed cabinet ministers and permanent secretaries to work harder and collaboratively towards delivering on his administration's target to improve the livelihood of all Nigerians. It has been two days of exploring how to improve the performance of government in view of what still needs to be done. The general consensus is that President Buhari's charge to his men to ramp up implementation of their mandates along the nine priority areas is spot on. The President also stresses the need for synergy between the fiscal and monetary authorities in the country to keep the economy in the trajectory of growth. He identifies the need to close the gaps in implementation efforts in order to attain set targets by 2023. The retreat provided an opportunity for us to undertake an objective assessment of our stewardship in line with the contract we signed with the Nigerian people to deliver on our electoral promises. We reflected on what we had done and identified the areas where we need to improve and refocus our attention during the remaining, remaining period of our administration. For participants, it has been two days of illuminating discussions and most importantly, identifying the challenges ahead. An innovative idea. Secretary to the government of the Federation with the community with action points of what tasks remain a priority to be delivered by 2022. They include considering subsidizing electricity production, which will impact on jobs and industries, timing the completion of refineries, repairs to align with the rehabilitation of pipelines, storage depots, and jetties. Ensuring refineries under repairs become functional from 18 months through to 48 months. Commissioning the Dangote refinery by 2022. Renew efforts to pass the Nigeria Railway Corporation Bill that will unbundle the NRC and allow public-private partnerships in operations of railway. Completing and operationalizing the ongoing railway projects. He notes that intensive discussions at the retreat provided an opportunity to reflect on what this administration has done and areas it needs to improve and refocus attention. To manage exchange rate better, there is a need to fix the education and health sectors so that Nigerians can study at home and receive medical care at home thereby saving the huge foreign exchange expended on overseas education and medical care. To enhance food security and lower food prices, there is need to also focus on commercial and industrial farmers and not only focus on small holders. The challenges are enormous, but not insurmountable. Cabinet members and indeed all participants in the retreat are resolved to work together to ensure that a legacy is left behind by this administration. Tai Amudu, TVC News, Abuja.